Hello and welcome beautiful scorpion shapes. I am excited that you are here on my channel again for a very special workout today. We will be targeting the muscle groups that are really holding everything together. For that today you will need a band. My band is very very strong so my band or my body will not be moving that much while doing the exercises but I'm just gonna push against it. So make sure to grab something that you can wrap around your pole like that. So you're basically making a little hole and then pulling it through. So the stronger your band is, the harder this workout is going to be. So choose wisely, um, choose anything at all. If you don't have it, you could also use ankle weights, for example, but this one is definitely designed for the band. <laughs> Let's get into it. I want you to do a little bit of a warm up so that your body is actually warm and is not going to get injured. And we're working with a little bit of resistance right here. That being said, we'll be working for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, and I will simply talk you through um, the exercise that we're going to go through. So we'll be starting with our legs and then moving up to our back, upper body, shoulders, but yeah, you want to have one leg inside of the loop. And I will be starting with the one that is turned away from you. So simply put it in and you want to have it at around ankle height, a little bit above ankle. And it's very nice to have a leg in or something. Otherwise it can very much pinch your skin. <laughs> that being said, let's get the timer set. The first exercise is really easy. Go into half squat and you want to bring the leg that is in the loop just back stepping. Yeah. And you will already notice that it's not that easy. So you really want to hold everything very tightly and just pause for a second when you're down, when you're putting your heel down. Use the strength out of your glutes, the whole backside of your leg. Turning away from the pole. So you have your leg again in the loop but facing the pole. From here we will be targeting the adductors, the inside of your leg and from here you simply want to bring it towards the outside. I know you're not seeing much with me <laughs> since my band is so strong but you simply want to bring it you know in and out holding it for a second just as we did with the step Shake it out. <laughs> we'll go into extensions. So all you want to do is just to lift it up as much as possible. And this is quite hard. So if it's not moving, don't worry. Just put pressure against the band. You can also come closer so that you actually have a better angle to actually lift your leg up. And again, hold it for a second on top before you come down. Shake it out, you can give it a tap, a little massage. And I will do the same thing, but with pulses. So you want to keep your leg up all the time and pulsate. And if you need a break, of course, take a break. <laughs> let's get to it. You can point your toes as well, have a slight bend in the leg that's standing 
and then simply pulse going in a little bit quicker. This is gonna put a lot of tension on your quad right here. So keep strong. <laughs> Don't let the bouncing be done by the band, but you actually want to control it. out we're not done yet just put the band back into its position you can turn towards your pole or actually not <laughs> just see where the angle is best and you want to lift up and bring it back down let's get to it very important also to focus on your belly a little bit okay obviously your quad will be working as well but really focus on bringing that leg, that knee, into your armpit. Even if it's not working, just use your mind. Holding on top, squeezing before bringing it down. it out and we'll do the same with pulsing so you'll keep your um, knee up and of course if you need a break just take a break <laughs> but try to stay with it as much as possible here we go bringing it up and pulse very much trying to bring your knee in Right, taking a step towards your pull. You can hug your pull right here if you want to, or just hold on any other way. Because now we want to bring our leg up and down, and you want to have a little bit of tension there as well. It's a leg curl. So also here, extend fully, and then bring it in. Let me turn around so you can see it and try to keep your knees together as much as possible. Of course, when you're coming up, that one knee wants to come forward as well. But don't do this, right? You really want to be working with your hamstrings, backside of your leg. Right, keep on turning in that direction. So now your outside foot is actually inside the sling. From here, you want to simply step out and in and bring your band up a little bit so that it's right at your shin. Whew. Inside leg is against the pole. And from here, you want to take a step out and then bringing it in, yes. And this is quite hard, so very much use your strength, push your knee out before you come back. Push, come back. And you can go into a little squat to engage your glutes even further. Shake it out, same thing, but we'll stay with our foot away, going into a little half squat and then pulsing, bringing our knees together and out, together and out. Here we go, let's do this. Be 
never felt better and if i'm honest with myself i am so glad we're together because this new state of mind that i've struggled to find right change the leg that is inside of your band and also we start over again first up is our stepping back half squat you can hold on to the pole and then stepping back letting it go let's do this everything on the other side Shake it out, turn towards the pole so that the inside leg is against the pole. And we're gonna go in for the adductors inside of your leg. Remember, by again, stepping in, stepping out. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> I know working re with resistance is not always the easiest. You definitely get your sweat on and your muscles are just like cramping up there like, ah! Why are you doing this to me? But it's so important. It's so good. You've got so many benefits from it. Shaking it out, we'll be lifting up our leg. Lift up, hold, coming back. You can point your feet if you want to. <laughs> so we're training these long lines. Hold on, let's get ready, four seconds. Here we go, lift up and lower. Always play with the resistance, very pushing into it and letting it go. Shaking it out, we will be pulsating at the top in our extension. 10 seconds time to breathe. Hold on to the pole if you want to. Slide the bend in your knee that is standing and pulsing. So we really look at the best angle for you on where you feel it the most. And then simply pulse. <laughs> trying to basically pull your leg towards the ceiling and I kid you not after you've done all of this work you know where you're basically kind of like held down then when you take the band off and you're trying to fling your um, your leg your foot up it's just gonna go so much better <laughs> five seconds left Right, you know what's coming, I hope, <laughs> but we'll do the knee lift up. Yeah, so again here, lifting up, holding, engaging everything, and then coming down. Five seconds left. Let's do this, guys. Yes, <laughs> very much pull, pull and strengthen everything. You can feel your core, it should be hard and tight. <laughs> Till I land at the 
Yes, shaking it out. And we will be going into the pool scene with this one. turning into your pole so the outside foot is within your band stepping forward your bum is almost in front of the pole you can again hug your pole however you want to <laughs> and then we'll go into your leg curls again the knees are tied together so that you really have the pull in the back leg in the sorry not the back leg the back side of your leg Whew and hold it when you're up squeezing 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 coming down extending fully Continue that rotation, again, stepping sideways. So you can have, it doesn't really matter where your foot is, as long as you feel comfortable. And then the only thing we will be doing, going into a half squat, and then stepping the banded foot out, having the tension here, knees are out, bringing it back. And you want to use the strength of here, the outside your abductors, your butt, really bringing it out. And again, holding it strong, coming back. Ooh, shake it out one last exercise for your legs same thing we'll step out we'll stay there and we'll pulsate with our knees slightly in and then all the way out five seconds left let's do this all the way out and we'll turn in and out using the rotators of your hips so really feel how your legs are working here make it count almost done right take your leg out of the sling and then you want to just hold on to the band with one hand slight bend in your knees your back is strong and from here you want to do a row let me do it with the other side first so you really want to pull your elbow in into your chest and then letting it lower you can also hold on to the pull and very much turn it inward i'm rotating my wrist so you see here it's straight and then i'm bringing my thumb inward also your slow and control movements holding it letting it go <sighs> 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 
Alright, switching sides. Ooh, if you need to let your back hang out a little bit, do it before coming back into your strong position. Your back is flat, everything is engaged, even if we're not using it. And then strong rows, bringing your elbow into your chest. Shoulders are down. do a similar thing but now you, you want to hold on with both hands and you want to do a row but you want to bring it more into your into your chest all right so instead of just bringing it down you want to bring it up same thing here everything is very strong simply bringing it up holding it release shoulders are back the blades are drawn inward when you come up. Choose your inside arm and that one is grabbing the band. You come into a little half squat and from here shoulder is back and down and you just bring your shoulder up and down. A little shoulder shrug moment here. Make sure that your shoulder is back and not coming in front. Feel the engagement here, rotating your shoulder blade back. Like you're lifting up something very heavy from the floor. <sighs> Letting this go, going to the other side. <sighs> Shake it out. I know there's a lot of tension in your back now, but that's okay, because we're almost done. All right, sit in this half squat, bent knees, and I'm bringing your shoulders up, rotating them back, and release, bringing them up. Your belly is engaged. You're not gonna go into an arch, but you actually want to have a very flat back. Your legs are engaged. Imagine lifting something up. Like you want to pull the um, pole out of the floor. All right. Last exercise. We will be going into plank with one hand and the other hand is gonna go and row it in. Seven seconds left, plank, everything is steady, holding on with one hand and you actually want to row it in, row it in. It was a full body exercise. Take 
take a little shake, a little release. The forward will be doing it on the other side. I hope you're still with me. I know this is quite something, but one more exercise left. And then our 25 minutes are over. Let's go. Really bringing it in. Trying to keep your body stable as much as possible. And try to correct yourself. When you see that your butt is too high, bringing it down again. I invite you guys to do a second round of all of this starting with your legs then your upper body to reap the most benefits of it so that you also have 30 minutes of exercise down if you already had enough that's okay <laughs> then you can do some stretching or move on to anything else that you wanted to do thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time here on my channel but before I just quickly do one little stretch a little side stretch Put one hand down on the floor. The other one is gonna come up, reach, and just try to relax. <laughs> Get rid of the tension in your back. Breathing, letting everything go. Slowly bringing everything back up. Other hand is going to the floor, reaching up and over. You can bend your elbow. And maybe envision how everything is flowing down. All the tension, all the stress, all the worries are flowing into the ground. <sighs> Breathing. Slowly coming back up to center. Maybe roll your shoulders, giving you a little massage. <sighs> you did a great job. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you again next time. And yeah, have a super beautiful day ahead. Bye.